Hey guys, Saki from Saki Tech with a quick update on the iOS 9 beta. As you know, iOS 9 will be released this fall and will be available on all iPhones from 4S to iPhone 6 and of course on the newest model of the iPhone which will possibly be named the 6S. It will also be available on all iPads from iPad 2 until iPad Air 2. Meanwhile, Apple is releasing iOS 9 beta to developers so they can work on it. So far we have iOS 9 beta 2 and in this video we will take a look at some of the new feature enhancements. Now before we dive in I want you guys to watch my other two videos titled iOS 9 running on an iPad Air and iOS 9 running on an iPhone 6 which goes over all the new features in iOS 9 including multitasking on the iPad Air 2 and then come back and watch this video as a supplement to keep track of what is new. Links to those videos is in the description below. So let's dive in right away. iOS 9 Beta 2 is mostly all about under the hood enhancements such as performance improvements and bug fixes. But we do have some feature enhancements as well so let's take a look at those. Now as you know handoff is part of iOS's continuity features. Basically you can start certain programs on one iOS device and seamlessly hand it off to another iOS device to continue working on the other device exactly where you left off. Now as long as your iPhone and iPad have their Bluetooth enabled and you are signed into the same iCloud account using the same Apple ID on all your iOS devices handoff is automatically enabled. In iOS 9 beta 1 this feature wasn't working but in iOS beta 2 it is in fact working and here is a quick demonstration. So basically I'm going to launch the notes application on the iPhone and then I'm going to go into a note to start working on it and then let's say I'm going to switch to the iPad. I'm just going to bring up the multitasking pane and in the background you'll see the notes application just shows up and I can tap on it and it takes me exactly to the same note I was playing with on the iPhone 6. Okay, So now I can get rid of the iPhone 6 one and I can continue my work on the iPad Air. This is the handoff feature and it actually now works and it actually works with a lot of compatible applications. The keyboard now has an undo button right over there. So let's uh, type something in and tap on the undo button. Brings up a menu that allows you to do a couple things. Let's undo it first and let's just tap it again and redo what we just undid. So that's one option. Additionally, let's select that text we just uh, typed in. Select all. And now you get a scissors icon right over there. When you select an item, tap on it. Gives you the option to cut, copy, and paste from left to right. So let's tap on the cut on the scissors. And that's going to cut the text we just did. So these are some of the uh, enhancements on the keyboard for iOS 9 Beta 2. And also, if you look at the podcast icon, you'll see that it has been redesigned with bolder iconography on both the iPad and the iPhone. Not a big deal, but this is an update that came with the iOS 9 Beta 2. Also, the Apple Watch app has been renamed to the Watch app on the iPhone 6. As you know, the iPad Air does not have the Watch app as of now. I hope it gets there sometime. And finally, the description of the new low power mode have been slightly modified on the iPhone 6. The low power mode does not exist on the iPad Air, just on the iPhone 6. And even though these are some minor improvements which we looked at today, that's basically all the visible enhancements. And on top of this, of course, we have the under the hood improvements that add stability and speed to the overall experience. Stay tuned for more updates. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and subscribe for more content. See you the next time.